Hey, this is Notzer, and today we're going to be talking about the mid-tier Italian experience. Uh, I'm bringing this up partially because I've had so much interest, comments, questions regarding the mid-tier Italians. Obviously, 8.9 came out, and it's the early access event for the Italian cruisers, tier 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then that premium tier 5, Genova. These ships are out. You can play with them. You can try out SAP. You can check it out, and you can make your commander builds. And with all of that said, the mid-tier just aren't very impressive. I don't know whether the angle normalization nerf that they implemented probably a couple weeks before these guys were released, especially at mid-tier, was necessary. It certainly doesn't feel like it was necessary because the same targets that I'm really strong against, I'm strong because they show broadside. It's not because I'm firing an easy mode uh, shell type. Is SAP really so much more easy mode compared to high explosive? I don't think many players would say, oh, you're right. High explosive is so much harder to use. SAP, SAP really deserves to be nerfed into the ground and made impossible to use against certain targets who understand how to angle. And wow, we actually Citadel that kid up with our SAP round. But it's, it's just been a real trial to make these guys work. The Genova is uh, a joke. It's a tier 5 with 8 203mm guns with a 20 second reload. I am lucky if I break 75,000 in that ship. It, it, it requires like broadside AP citadels, tons of players that are not including battleships that I'm firing on. And even then, I'm barely getting there. Because the damage per minute is just awful. And I understand that they're pushing damage per minute as being rather unimpressive at times for the Italians. I, that's okay. But if the damage per minute is so unimpressive, why is the normalization on both of your rounds very difficult to use? AP obviously can ricochet. And AP has a very narrow window where it won't ricochet. That's the whole thing with AP. But the mid-tier SAP rounds also have a fairly narrow range where the higher tier SAP rounds are much easier to use. What's the, what's the reason behind that? You're literally making the higher skills, supposedly the higher time investment, easier to play. I don't understand that. Shouldn't mid-tier be a, a scale level that goes all the way up so that... When you reach mid-tier, you have a, a general understanding, but it's not going to punish you to such an extent that it makes you not want to play it. And I do feel like there is definitely a current of players just refusing to have any interest in the Italian cruises because the experience so far has been pretty poor. So all I'm trying to say is I don't think that the mid-tier normalization nerf is necessary. I would honestly like them to revert that change it has really killed any enthusiasm I have for the mid-tiers for the Italians. I mean, you basically are successful against players who show too much side, and if the player has half an angle or is a battleship, you pretty much can't do any damage to him because he's got all these weird angles. Because, as you know, mid-tier battleships are weird. I mean, they got a lot of weird high-armor, low-armor zones that the late-tier just don't adopt, but it makes it a challenge to fire on with sap. You know, it's almost like cheating for the battleships because of just their, their quirky armor layout. It just doesn't really work that well with how SAP has evolved to the current day SAP. And I just, I really feel strongly that these ships need some love before the main line is completely available. Otherwise, you're going to see a lot of players who are going to be like dreading the grind going through the Italians because... In order to get to ships that actually are fun to play, it, it pretty much has to be like tier 7 on. That's when the normalization improves to a point where you, you recognize and enjoy that the, the rounds themselves are good. You also get access to just a better ship. Overall, maneuverability, you know, the gun velocity, all these things just improve to the point where you can actually play the line. But the mid-tier, man, ah, uh, I can't... In good faith, recommend the Geneva right now. The Geneva is a garbage premium. 
and why should why is it a garbage premium? Why would it be a garbage premium? You have eight 203 millimeter guns that you can drop AP at anyone, anytime. You also have the ability to just unload the sap round, but because of all these different elements that have come into the game since the very initial version, my first impression video is meaningless because the normalization angles are completely irrelevant. They are much harder and much more difficult to use. And why is a tier five having a more difficult time using their ammo than a tier eight is beyond me. This is not the tier where we want to punish players and kick them in the balls. Okay, we don't want to do that. But with the Geneva, I feel like it. I feel like it's a perfect example of an over nerf. Uh, they were so terrified of the eight 203 millimeter guns that would just one shot everything. They didn't even consider that, oh yeah, people are probably going to want to try the new round and it sucks. And the reload is horrible to the point where most players are just like, Okay, fire my gun. Let me go, you know, play solitaire for 20 seconds and then the guns will be reloaded. Then fire my gun again and just do it again. It has shallow gun range because they want to use the scout aircraft. It doesn't have smoke, so you don't get to experience that, which would be another key feature to encourage players to want to pick it up outside of the sap. And you can't even do that. So ships like the Geneva, these mid-tier fives and sixes, and probably the unreleased tier fours and threes, they just don't feel like they're good enough. They don't feel fun to play, they take too long to reload, and the damage per minute is abysmal. The only thing that they would be really good at, high alpha against certain targets, those certain targets just angle a little bit and all of a sudden they are immune to damage. I can't tell you how many times in the Geneva I would fire all eight guns at a target with sap, Everything would hit the target, but only one shell would damage the target, and it would be for like 1,600 damage. 1,600 damage every 20 seconds? That doesn't seem very good, because it's not. 4,800 damage per minute? Really? That's a pathetic number. And it shouldn't be that way, but it is, and I want Wargaming to address this sooner rather than later. I can't be as jubilant over the Italian release because these are real issues. I mean, I haven't found a CC yet that likes the Geneva's version right now. And I, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted why we got the version that we got because it just feels like I don't enjoy this. Did anyone really enjoy this version? Did they, did they overlook it? Is this a joke? You know, what's going on here? Is there some Halloween ruse that we're going to have? And when the 810 patch comes out, they're going to implement the return of the normalized angles and everything will be forgiven? I, I'm as confused as you guys over some of these ships and the effectiveness that they express. I just want the game to be the best it possibly can be. And I just think these mid-tiers, they create just this sour taste in everyone's mouth. And... I don't know what to say. I just want to draw attention to this and hopefully Wargaming or viewers like you guys will leave in the comments your thoughts on the mid-tier the, uh, mid Italians. I really love the tier 8 and obviously the tier 9 and the tier 10 are just more improvements on it. You know, the reload, especially from tier 9 and tier 10, you get the reload module, which is really nice. And you get the heal, which is also really nice. They're really nice ships. But man, these mid-tier, they are, they're glass cannon, they're squishy, they have slow reload, they have no damage per minute. Uh, the only thing they could possibly do is alpha DDs out of the game, and yeah, I guess that's cool sometimes. But it's really nice to do more than like 20,000 damage per game. I'm just saying, you know, not not trying to like poke anything or whatever, but it's, you know, it's it's really nice to feel like you're not completely useless. And I've definitely felt completely useless, especially in games where there's an aircraft carrier and only battleships. I basically drop down to doing no damage and I'm spotted 
forever as long as the aircraft carrier wants to keep me spotted because of that giant dead zone. So terrible concealment, terrible air concealment as well. You have no utility, hydro or radar or defensive AA. Don't have any heal, obviously, but we have to say that because of the British heavy cruisers and light cruisers. And yet, I have terrible damage output. So am I just not supposed to do anything good? That's the question. Torpedoes are slow as well. The only time you hit these torpedoes is if players literally are side on to you and they can't do anything. It's a really weird feeling to know that the version I tested felt pretty fine, but was deemed too powerful. And the version that we get to collectively experience as early access is just meh. Just very meh. It's not really that awesome. And I would really like it if they would improve it. Just, just make it better. Just do something to make it more appealing for players. You know, the Italian cruiser lines, the uh, Duca and the Abruzzi, they weren't received that well too. And I shouldn't they at least have something that they're good at? I don't. They don't need to suck at everything, but it kind of feels like they do. And that's the one thing I would like for them to do is just not let them continuously feel like they suck at everything. That's all. That's all I'm saying. So, you know, that's my little rant about mid-tier Italians. I, of course, have been really enjoying the stream and obviously sharing those crazy games with you guys. But, man, playing these Italians, it's a chore. And it shouldn't be a chore because it's a brand new mechanic, both in the sap round, but also in the smoke. And yet I'm not looking forward to playing and experiencing it. And that's that's wrong. That should not be the case right now. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to check out more of my content, you can click the most recent or the most relevant uploads. You could also choose to subscribe to my channel. We do daily World of Warship videos, first impression, how-to, news, and review related. My North American recruit invite is on the screen. You can take advantage of that. I stream at twitch.tv slash Thank you. Have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you next time.